Hello everyone and welcome to this weekly technical analysis video here at XM.com. So the focus will be on the US jobs report this week where another high figure could, dip, could up and expectations that the Fed would soon begin cutting interest rates thereby aiding the dollar's recovery. Also the central banks of Australia and New Zealand are expected to take different approaches. So, in March, non-farm payrolls are anticipated to reach 238k, while the unemployment rate, the unemployment rate is anticipated to remain stable near 3.6%, continuing near multi-decade lows. So, looking now at euro and dollar, we can see that the price is flattening near its opening level, remaining above the 1.0 weight psychological mark. So if the price continues to, to the upside, then it may find a resistance around the 1.0913 barrier and even higher near the 1.1030. If there's a climb above this level here, then it could endorse the bullish outlook in the long-term time frame resting near the March of 2022 high around 1.1180. On the flip side now, if the market drops beneath the 1.760 support and also beneath the short-term SMEs, then it may challenge the 23.6% people of 1.0680 and this uptrend line here around 1.0640. And drop beneath this line, it may challenge the 200 SMA around 1.0570 and it will change the outlook to bearish. Looking now at the technical oscillators, the MACD is holding above its trigger line while the RSI is flattening in the positive region. Also, moving next, we are going to see the RBA decision that is coming up on, uh, on Tuesday and the uh, RBA will announce its interest rate decision. Traders are assigning a 50% probability of a rain increase with the other 85% indicating no action, but the forecasting calendar show that will be an increase of 25 basis points to 3. 85% from 3.6% before. So looking at Aussie dollar, we can see that the price is holding within the 20-day SMA and the 200-day SMA and is holding within a tight range. So if the market overcomes the 200-day SMA and also the 0.6560 resistance, it may challenge the 50-day SMA around 0.6790 ahead of the 0.6857 barrier. Even higher, the price it may challenge the 0.7030 and the long-term descending trend line. On the flip side, now if there is a drop beneath this support level here, it may move towards the 0.6560 and even lower towards the 0.6385. Now the technical oscillators are confirming that we are going to have a mild, mild positive movement as the MACD is holding above its trigger line in the negative region while the RSI is trying to cross above the 50 level. Also, we are going to end with the RBN Zen de decision. The RBN Zen meeting is taking place on Wednesday and is anticipated rate increase of 25 basis points, which is already priced in. Traders expect a 15 basis points move rather than a post if this doesn't happen. So the price is also holding within the short term SMAs, the 20 and the 50 day. So if the, the price climb above it and there is also a challenge of the 0.60 to 85 barrier, then it may switch the short term outlook to positive, reaching the 0.6390 resistance and even higher, the 8 month high of 0.6530. Alternatively, a drop beneath the 20 days, it may then the price it may move towards the 0.6170 support and also the 200 days may around 0.6150 ahead of the three and a half month low of 0.6080 and the 0.60 uh, psychological mark. So if there is a test of this level here, then it may change the outlook to negative. Looking also at the RSI is pointing slightly down in the positive region while the MACD is moving sideways around the neutral threshold of 50. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching and have a great day.